Rachel oh. Frank. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, what's up there? <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> Don't wear it out. Are we going? Hey, it's Rachel, and you're watching The Beat Stop, the only show about music festival news, events, and culture. And this episode, we're talking about Desert Days and why it's SoCal's best kept secret. So the first reason this festival is one of my personal favorites has to do with the people. So it kind of goes into like the background story of the festival, but it's created by artists and musicians. The founder, Phil, um, he's in a band, Juju, and his wife, Julie, he's in Deep Valley. They're just rock and roll gods. And you can tell when you go to the festival that everything in this festival was created by rock and roll and artists and musicians. It's really, really well th thought out, and it's like, going to family restaurant, if you think about it, you know? Because it's like everything is made with love. It's like they book all of their friends, bands, all the artists, all the musicians. It's just such a cool experience, and it doesn't matter like who goes there. When you go, it just, you feel that love and energy, and it just makes it so awesome. And it's, you could get lost, and you would just make friends. They're just the nicest people, um, no douchebags. So if you want to be surrounded by good people and good music, that's my first reason why I love it so much. The second reason that this festival is awesome is the location. It's over at Marina Beach at Lake Paris. It's only 90 minutes from San Diego or Los Angeles. And even though this is gonna be the first year it's at that location, apparently there's a giant lake that you can go swim in and they're gonna have boat rides and a lot of space, no dust. So it's gonna be a pretty awesome experience for the location wise. My next reason why I absolutely love this festival is the atmosphere. So last year when I went, I've gone for four years now, so this will be my fifth year coming up, but they had the Mystic Bazaar tent, which was awesome, and if anybody was there last year, you remember Dave the Rainbow, and he had a little tea garden, and he was just hanging out, giving people tea, so you just came in, got a glass of tea, and just everyone there is just so cool. Um, you just meet the best people, and <laughs> Like, speaking of the atmosphere, uh, I couldn't find my tent one night, and so we all just started howling at the moon. And I was like, all right, <laughs> talking to my friends. I'm like, how am I gonna find my friends? I'm like, well, let's just start howling at the moon. And then I heard some other howling, so I hung up, and I was like, oh, I found my friends. But just other people, campers, started howling, and then we had this big circle of like 10 people howling at the moon, and I was like, where are my friends? I'm like, I don't care, I'm howling at the moon. And that's what you'll get at Desert Days. <laughs> okay, all right, so. Uh, the next reason why this festival is awesome is the music. I love psychedelic rock, and I know a lot of other people do too, and this year's lineup is awesome. Uh, King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard, this psych rock band from Australia, they are one of the best live bands. I think they just like shred, they're insane. My Bloody Valentine is playing, that's gonna be awesome. Tame Impala, Ty Siegel, Shellac, there's just a bunch of endless awesome bands and then also just everyone like Phil and his wife they just kept it in the family so a lot of like just Juju's gonna be playing and uh, Cat Scan just a bunch of really cool bands so that'll be great. Finally the last reason I think you need to check out Desert Day is with all the interactive art installations. They really take a lot of time and care into everything and last year Celeste and Aaron they had this really cool Infinicon that you could go and sit with pillows and chill out and then Nadia made this really awesome tent with like teddy bears and these metallic streamers that you could just lay and hang out when it got too hot and just everywhere around the festival there'll be like little hidden gems that you just like stumble across and you're like you know out in the wilderness or whatever in the desert and all of a sudden you're like oh there's a cool art installation where I can just like hang out before I go see my favorite band so all the art and music and everything tied into one um, it just makes makes it a really special experience for everyone that's there so that's why Desert Days is my personal favorite festival and you guys definitely should check it out and that's it for today. So thanks for watching The Beat Stop. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you next time.